We're outside uh, Siam Paragon right now. Um, you look around here, like I said, there are a lot of uh, a lot of really, really high-end stores that only the top one point, or not even one, probably point zero 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 one percent of anybody in Thailand can afford things here. Um, and uh, just over over here, you'll see the Bangkok Skytrain, and um, this is the square that opens up into Siam. So, yeah, so. If you didn't know where exactly you were, you might think that this was in Westchester, New York, or uh, perhaps somewhere outside of Los Angeles County. Yeah, it's a, a proper mall with all sorts of designer name brand stuff. I don't really know what's name brand and what's not because I don't really know any of that <laughs> but uh guess i recognize that um upstairs there is a uh, imax theater and um i believe farther down the street a little ways is actually a water park but yeah you can see this is clearly lifestyles of the rich and famous you see some Maseratis and things like that in a minute up here. So, this is the food court in the uh, extremely large mall that is Siam Paragon. Um, there's a there's actually a um, high-end grocery store in here as well. Um, it's one of the few places that you can get a lot of the different things that you might miss back home. Some of the stuff is incredibly, incredibly foreign. Um, it, you, you, like I said, you wouldn't even know that you're in Thailand here. New Audis. And uh, right next door, a clothing store called Castro. I don't think he knows they're using his name. As I said, the uh, top... 0.0001% of all the people in Thailand can afford stuff like this. We got BMW, Maserati over there.